Cool. So uh, this is just a little message for everyone who's tuned in. Yeah, that's good. Uh, just a little message for everyone who's tuned in. Today's podcast going to be a little bit different. Uh, I have, I did do a little bit of a recording before just to test this out, and it's going to kind of sound like a bit of a speech just because I've got it written down. Um, but I try and keep it as natural as I can. So just bear with me. It's the last one. What can we do? We just got to go with the flow. So. Here we go. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to The Human Now, where we are discussing ideas around what it means to be in the state of time. Our purpose with this podcast is to simply make positivity louder and to raise its awareness around what it means to be a human being in this day and age. For today's episode, it is just me. Uh, For those of you who don't know me, hello and welcome. My name is Akash Kumar. And for those of you who have continued to tune in, uh, thank you and welcome back. Um, Your support and love for the Human Now movement is really appreciated. Um, Last year, we signed off the year with a podcast which centered around goal setting, um, New Year's resolutions and whether or not we achieve them throughout the year. Uh, Today's episode is going to be slightly different as you can see. Yes, it is just me, um, but also because it is the last episode for 2019, uh, it got me thinking about what to do for this episode. So as I said, um, it is just me sitting here by myself, whether you're listening or watching, um, whether you're listening, you can probably hear now that it's just me. Um, And yeah, like I said, I've got it all written down on my iPad just so that I wouldn't miss or I didn't want to miss Um, the depth of what I want to try and communicate today. So it might kind of sound like I'm saying a speech or reading off something. Uh, The reason is because I am, um, but I'll try and keep it as natural as possible and just keep this this relationship that we have uh, with myself and you, the listener or watcher who is out there. Um, So let's get into it. Today's uh, podcast kind of centers around um, kind of why... Uh, we took a break from recording the podcast between the beginning of the year till this October, uh, kind of what I went through um, in terms of personally, um, and what what I went through in terms of having to um, go through a certain process to get it back. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where, where the this podcast centers or the discussion centers around uh, today. Um So for me, this podcast is a space for uh, people to come and share their ideas um, and thoughts about positive being um, around the human now. Uh, At the beginning of this year, we took a break from podcasts for many reasons. Personally, a big reason for me is that, um, for me being that although we had a purpose, it just wasn't strong enough and I felt like there was just something missing or something we weren't just, we weren't doing right. I didn't have the right purpose or attitude um, to want to do it. Uh, the result of this being that the process before the podcast I felt was rushed. Uh, we'd be deciding topics hours before shooting or even going into sessions without uh, any idea of what we're talking about. Um, I th- specifically remember going into the podcast with um, Anj uh, uh, and we were talking about stress and anxiety in that one and yeah, just had no idea um what we were talking about was basically just like, yeah, you control the thing. Um, and, you know, for me, that was like, we, we, we can't be doing that. Um, and, and so even the, the, sorry, the process after um, we'd finished shooting didn't get much love and attention either. Uh, now, when I say the process after uh, the shooting didn't get much love, I don't mean the editing or post-production of the video and audio because that probably out of everything got, most love. Um, I know what time and energy is required uh, to go through and produce these episodes, so I really do have to thank Roshan for his time, uh, energy, and incredible skills um, that he's put towards producing um, the content. Uh, When I say process after the shoot, I'm talking about myself and the attitude I had towards the podcast. Uh, We would finish the shoot, and if we were onto it, we'd write down a quick summary of what we'd we'd of what we'd just discussed, uh, which we'd use for our social media and um, the little description bits. Um, 
I think we'd just pick out like a random or funny bit from the trailer and that was kind of it. We'd upload it and there we go. There was not much to it. There's no depth at all. Um, and not much thinking involved. Um, to be honest, there was also personally some ego involved. Like, damn, look at us. We got a hot shit set. Um, we're putting stuff out there. The dopamine hits in as well from uploading content. So that makes you feel good. Uh, but to be fair, uh, I felt I felt like we were covering some great topics and addressing some important themes. So it's it wasn't as bad as I'm making it out to be. Uh, out to be. Uh, but for me, I just wasn't satisfied. Um, there was something missing, um, something which I wasn't content with in terms of what we were doing or actually what I was doing myself. Reflect, reflecting back, uh, it was a cool experience because I learned so much about the process and our growth was definitely uh, exponential. We basically had no idea how to start a podcast. Uh, I don't think I'd ever listened to a podcast or even thought about the idea of a podcast. So I'm really, really grateful to Perry for planting that seed into us uh, and to Curry, Minish, Roshan and Perry uh, for really helping uh, set the foundation uh, do and doing the foundation work uh, for the show. Um, just like even even though I said we wouldn't come into the podcast knowing what we're talking about, uh, there was still that the hunger and the drive to want to do the podcast. I uh, would be looking at researching other podcasts and um, everyone, it, there's a lot of ideas, you know, like, oh, we should try this. We should talk about this. Um, so I really do appreciate that. And that was also part of our growth um, and kind of helped to mold uh, that first season. Um, so that's quite a uh, a very quick little insight into why I stopped near the beginning of the year. Uh, basically, for me, I just wasn't happy with my attitude or my purpose. So we took a break, and in that time, it gave us time to think, uh, do different things, and also talk to other people. Uh, a lot of people within our own circles told us they enjoyed tuning in. Um, so that was a positive. Um, in that time, we also got to go through and experience life. Personally, I tend uh, myself to analyze a lot of stuff I go through and uh, through what I see in here. Um, I think it was about June or July for me um, this year, and I started to see in here uh, a lot of negativity and sadness in my own network and circles and also in other people's networks and circles. Um, and it seemed like the world just was not a happy place. Um, I'm a huge fan on frequency and vibration, so that definitely got to me. Uh, too many people in tough situations or not enjoying life. Personally, I myself was in a slump, full of self-pity, experienced everything from a creative block to not doing much apart from basically um, watching movies and also scrolling endlessly, endlessly through social media, wanting to be like people who are making the positive change but not doing anything about it. There was no learning, no reading, and basically no growth. Physically, I wasn't moving anywhere as well as mentally and emotionally. Uh, for someone who likes to be doing things, the hustle, the grind, being positive and helping people, uh, there just wasn't much of that going on. Um, and I was getting tired from not doing anything uh, pretty much day after day. And also, it was definitely a mood I kept for a while. I mean... It can be very comfortable and easy uh, not doing much at all um, through this phase. I also thought it was like my rest phase um, and I became complacent and also gave myself a lot of self-pity uh, because I felt like I was doing so much and that I deserved to do nothing um, and to rest. Otherwise, that I, I felt like I'd burn out. Um, for me, that was probably the biggest joke of the year because I wasn't really doing anything to deserve that rest. Um, like, so the result of this, uh, internally, I was getting angry at myself, uh, at the end of each day because I felt like I was just wasting another day. Time was just passing, uh, during the week I'd go to work, come home, put on Netflix, watch a movie and go to sleep. I'd basically repeat that every night from Monday to Friday. Uh, the weekends I'd wake up late, stay in bed and watch a movie, get up, shower around maybe two or 3 PM and kind of think to myself, uh, where's the day gone? Um, which would then like turn into me getting upset with myself uh, and then eventually coming through to 
um, me being like, nah, forget it, this day's all gone. Uh, I might as well just keep watching until I fall asleep. Um, and this kind of went on for some time. For someone who wants to create ch and change his space uh, or be the change in his space, um, being and doing the complete opposite uh, made me unhappy and with myself and my situation. I didn't like how magnified the sadness and negativity was in my life. Um, why couldn't positivity be louder? And therefore, why couldn't I be the medium through which it was delivered? And then it hit me. Attitude, purpose, and habit. Because I didn't have a deep enough purpose, I wore a, spe I wore a specific attitude. I'll just say that again. Because I didn't have a deep enough purpose, I wore a specific attitude. Complacency, self-justification, and comfort. And because of my attitude, I wasn't doing anything to think about my purpose. I enjoyed the activity of not doing anything, which resulted in only sleeping. Um, sorry. So I enjoyed the activity of not doing anything, which resulted in only going to sleep annoyed for wasting another day. For change occur, there were two things. First, my attitude. It got to a point where I just had enough. I was tired of being tired. In, in, in true fashion, I analyzed the, and decided to restart. Um, so basically what I do if, if I kind of see a, a pattern happening and getting too uh, stagnant or stable, I, I feel like I need to analyze just to, just to see, just take a step back and see what's happening. Um, and so, so what, I, what I decided was um, I thought, like, what did I, want, what did I want to do and where did I want to go? Uh, and I remember a quote by Thomas Jefferson. If you want to do something you, you've never had, you first must be willing to do something you've never done. Um, so I'll say that again. If, you've, if you want to do something you've never had, you first must be willing to do something you've never, you've never done. Basically, I wasn't going to go anywhere or get anything doing the same stuff every day. I decided I had to get uncomfortable and decided to try again. I realized I had to make slight adjustments in my daily routine, but also that I had to be disciplined with them. If I, was, if I said I was going to do something, I had to make sure I followed through. A big learning in this time uh, was the power of habit. I currently had habits which I wasn't happy with. I was letting, them, I was letting the same thing happen day after day. Um, I'll say that again. So I was letting the same thing happen day after day. So I ran an audit through my current habits, things which were keeping me from being where I wanted to be, um, not waking up and not going to sleep at specific times, um, scrolling through social media, um, watching a lot of Netflix, no physical or mental activity, uh, just eating random, fo uh, random foods. Um, even though I am a vegan, uh, there are still bad foods out there or foods which aren't good for the body. Um, and the people and relationships I had in my life as well. And finally, the, ha um, the habits of complacency and self-justification were uh, something which I ran through this audit. Uh, the next part was kind of the easiest part, which was deciding uh, what my new habits were going to be. So waking up and going to the gym at five, uh, regulating my social media usage, uh, eating fruits and watching the foods which enter my body. So going back to the uh, energies and vibrations, uh, food is a chemical, and for me, chemical is energy, and therefore it has a positive or negative vibration or charge, uh, and therefore it has an effect on me. So I had to think about, did I want this to be a good one or a bad one, which was going in, into me. Uh, I wanted to listen to podcasts, read books, and I wanted to decide uh, which people or relationships inspired me to be a better person and which gave off a positive energy or vibration. And the final habit I wanted to acquire was discipline. Uh, for me, discipline also means truth or integrity. The next part was the hardest and even still is the hardest. Um, and I'm far from perfect. I'm, I've only kind of just begun. Um, and so what, what this stage is, is the implementation or the action. So... That means waking up regularly at 5 a.m. It was hard, but now that I, you know, you kind of repeat it, it, it gets a little bit easier. Um, and once I'm kind of at the gym, it's, it's all good. 
Uh, I turned off all the notifications on, notifications on my social media apps. Um, you know, it's quite easy to have your phone there while you're at work or when you're out and you just see this, the screen like light up and, you know, that kind of just shifts your mindset. So I turned everything off and you can't, you have to physically think about going into the phone and going into the app. Um, so I try and catch myself before I get into the app. I kind of think, oh, what am I doing? You know, like, should I be looking at this or should I be focusing on this right now? Um, so I, right now what I do is I only look at my phone after 8 a.m. or once I'm having breakfast and I try not to scroll through my phone while I'm in bed. I've started watching, started watching the foods which enter my body regularly. Uh, I try to eat bananas most days, try to cut out most fast foods. Um, and also because I don't drink, I'd still drink soft drinks um, before, uh, whereas now I've changed that into just drinking water or sparkling water. I also try and listen and watch as many positive-centric things out there. Um, again, this goes back to vibration and energy, so we are still receiving um, like sound energy from the things we listen to or the stuff we take in. It still makes you feel and think a certain way. Um, so I thought about those things as well. Um, and I also audited the people in my life. Uh, for me, this didn't mean completely changing or cutting people out of my life, but just knowing who and what vibrations I was receiving from people. Um, therefore, I'd kind of be regulating the amount of time I spent around certain people. And since uh, making adjustments to my habits and attitude, my outlook has changed. Uh, I'm not perfect. Um, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Um, not a machine. You know, it's going through this pers uh, process. Um, it's also made me think about how sustainable this type of life is as well and how I want to kind of mold it to suit the type of lifestyle I want. Um, so there is room for adjustment and you got to you kind of got to have to give and take. Uh, there are still days where I don't make it to the gym where I use my phone more than I should um, and I'm eating what I shouldn't be eating. But the learning here is to keep the mind on where I want to be. Um, the discipline in this is remembering uh, what I want to be and where I'm going. So I'll just say that again. The learning here is to keep the mind on where I want to be. The discipline is in remembering where I want to be. So reflecting on the day and trying to be better on the next is kind of that that discipline uh, at the end of the day. It's me reflecting back on my day. Oh, have I actually achieved what I wanted to achieve? And therefore, okay, tomorrow that that target of where I want to be is still in my in my head. Um, and not everyone is perfect, and I myself am definitely am not. And everyone has different situations, requirements, and needs. Uh, you kind of have to do what you can with what you can to be happy. Um, but the big learning here is you just have to keep trying. Finally. Finally, after this, I felt like I was the positivity uh, that I wanted to be. I was ready to share my positiv positivity, and after a talk and final push with Akshi and, uh, from Akshi and Perry, the human now was set to restart. We didn't have a clue where we were shooting or who was going to be on it, but I knew that we were going to do it. Uh, we all knew we were going to do it, and we knew when we were going to do it. For change occur... Uh, sorry for change to occur, the second thing I required was purpose. The purpose of the podcast was to make positivity louder. Um, in a world filled with so much negativity, positivity, conversations around positive thinking and sending out positive energy and vibrations was my key focus. Um, essentially, it was to make positivity louder. You can never have enough positivity. Um, so for me, it was about let's, let's have conversations about life, about being human and now, uh, with the intention that'll bring happiness to others, uh, to allow them to think about their own lives, to allow them to think about what it means to be human now. I was more aligned, uh, with the human now and what I wanted to achieve once I've, once I had kind of, um, altered and fine tuned my attitude and my purpose. So with the purpose and attitude, we were able to create a podcast which had, which had a theme, 
a topic of discussion which had a sense of structure to it. Uh, rather than not having a theme and just turning up, I was thinking about what we wanted to communicate and then selecting the panel which was appropriate to the discussions. Um, I was able to plan a, a basic like podcast skeleton which the panel was um, which the panel knew about so that they could think about in the discussions and help uh, extract out. Um, so ba so basically what I'm trying to say is like with the skeleton, uh, it, it helped the panel to extract out what they wanted to talk about where uh, it could have been missed if it was just me asking them on the spot, kind of like what I'm doing right now where I'm reading off um, like kind of like a script which, which I've written up, uh, which is kind of helping me guide me through this um this this podcast um and lastly or oh, uh, the, the the other thing sorry is we also had a deeper sense of reasoning for why we were sitting here and talking about these things um it created a space to discuss a, our, our personal experiences and also allowed for the discussion allowed for key learnings that listeners and people watching could take away and think about after um, for me, it was definitely important that the podcast was not only a space to talk, but also a space for uh, action as well. For me, it was the structure, the attitude, the purpose and learning that was missing from last year. With a reworked attitude and deeper purpose, we restarted the Human Now uh, podcast, and that was at the beginning of October. Um, <coughs> every, every podcast since um, now, I review the whole episode. I extract small parts, which... Think I could be, uh, which I think could be little nuggets that um, could be used of uh, little nuggets of social um, thought. Sorry, which could be used on social media. From beginning to end, I feel like that I'm giving my. Uh, sorry, from beginning to end, I feel like I'm giving the podcast um, the loving care which I didn't give it before. Um, I hope you've seen that growth in our work this year because I surely have felt it. Um, my learnings from 2019. Uh, the, the power of habit, number one, surely is um, that the power of habit is far stronger than the power of motivation. Uh, this has been a repeating theme which I've seen in the work of Humble the Poet, Valentin Osic um, from I Love Ugly and Tom Billy from The Impact Theory. Um, second is to be where I want to be, I have to do which I have never done before. Um, it's pretty simple, you know, we can't be... I can't be thinking about being somewhere while I'm doing something completely different. Well, I mean, sorry, doing the same thing. I have to adjust my um, adjust my process or what I'm doing to get to somewhere different. Um, and lastly, the attitude, which I decided to wear daily uh, with my purpose in mind, determines whether or not I will achieve the day's requirements. So that kind of means daily thinking up and actually deciding like I'm saying you know like deciding to wear an attitude um you can decide okay today I'm going to I'm going to have this outlook on my day um and then when you've got that purpose tied in as well it it, it kind it's it's kind of like a nice recipe or a, a tool to help you achieve what you want to achieve so the purpose of this podcast today uh, was to explain what my year and personal thinking has been like behind this podcast is also to share my key learning um, my key my key learnings of going through some ups and downs um, in the hopes that it might spark thought um, in you to consider and to also audit on your own life um, your purpose your attitude and habits and not only moving into the new year but just every day in general you don't need to be, you don't need to, ch sorry, you don't need to change the world. But in changing yourself in a positive way, you change the world around you. Lastly, <laughs> now we're here. Um, I just want to also want to thank you if you have stayed this far as well. Um, I just want to sign the year off by saying thank you. Um, I'm very grateful to have a family who allows us to set up a studio uh, in their house. So first and foremost, I would really want to thank my mum and dad. Um, at the beginning of this year, we were like, where are we going to do this? Um, and I kind of just cleared out the downstairs and set this up in mum and dad's uh, house. So I really want to thank them for allowing me to set this up, but also allowing me to bring other people into their house to record these sessions. Um, to everyone who's come onto the panels, thank you. 
Thank you so much. Um, you're so integral to this thing. Your words, your energy, and presence have made these episodes what they are. Uh, to the people who give feedback, um, ideas, and support to us behind the scenes during the week, they'll message in and be like, oh, maybe you should try this, or oh, like just little bits of inspiration. Um, thank you so much. Um, even just oh, you guys did this in this episode, that was cool, or remember when you did this, let's bring, you know, maybe you should bring this through. Um, It's, for me, it's so important to receive feedback, and it's a way where we measure how our content is being received. So thank you to those people. And lastly, none of this would be possible without you, the audience, the people listening or watching while they drive home, while they cook, procrastinate, or whatever they do. Thank you so much for being a part of our tribe and being on this journey, being a part of our community and um, our movement. Every share, like, subscription, view, follow, every listen is a little spark of energy which makes the human now and just this this thing which we've created um, and that positivity a little louder. Without you, the people listening and watching, this would not be possible. So I really just want to take um, this opportunity to share my appreciation and gratitude for those who have tuned in and whether you're watching or listening, thank you so, so much. It, it has been such a wonderful, wonderful um, year, you know, from people telling us how much they um, love the podcast at the beginning of the year um, and then everyone who kind of helped to bring it bring it back and just give their thoughts everyone who's watched and everyone who's come on i just want to i really want to say thank you so much um and so on that note it is time now to say goodbye uh enjoy your christmas enjoy your new years spend time with those whom you love and be sure be sure to think about your attitude and purpose moving into the new year and just every day in general this the key learnings from this podcast is attitude habit and purpose if you do want to change it up please do message me message the human now um there are people out there who will help you yeah there's so much positivity we can be putting out um even if it is just a smile or a message of kind words to someone um that's how that's how big the small change has to be um on that note that is all from me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning in, whether you're listening or uh, watching. Um, please do share, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. If you do feel like this has given you some sort of value, please do um, let me know. And Or if you feel like someone should watch this, please do let them know and share it forward. And until next time, be human, be now. We will see you in the new year. Thank you.